This is Dick Rochford. We're uh, uh, approaching a, a very th a thin layer of um, stratocumulus and uh, flight level correction at uh, 16,000. And a question is, what, what can we expect here? Is this safe? Should we go under it? Should we go over it? Uh, you know, experience tells us that uh, clouds are at the top of the uh, the rough areas typically, and that if we went above, uh, we'd certainly have smoother air. Uh, these uh, these clouds are not producing any rain. We can tell that without the radar as we're looking out the window. Uh, so we can expect bumps, uh, nothing more than light to moderate, I would expect. Um, we have uh, light winds today, so I'm confident that this is a good course. Outside air temperature is minus 6. Uh, so it could be we get some ice uh, in this layer here, although I don't think so. However, consistent with the doctrine that uh, uh, we're operating by, we're going to open the alternate air. And the reason is, is that in the PA-46 Mirage, this is an M350, uh, we need that alternate air opened anytime we're in the presence of visible moisture. And the doctrine that, that I'm suggesting to you is anytime you've opened that alternate air, consider not closing it until you're absolutely certain there's no ice remaining in the plenum. The plenum meaning that area behind the filter um, and in front of the turbochargers. Any ice that gets rattled off of that uh, back of that filter will encounter the turbocharger blades and could cause damage, maybe even engine uh, failure. So we want to be very careful with closing the alternate air once it's open. Temperatures with the alternate air open are going to change some, but not enough to be uh, uh, worthy of a power change or, or anything like that. Okay, so uh, passengers are forewarned. We've tightened our seat belts uh, just in case, and uh, there is no rain in the area, so we can expect some bumps coming through the clouds, but nothing more. And if it gets bumpy beyond our uh, our okay. interest, then we're going to slow by bringing the power to 23 oh, inches, no. which will give us, uh, in clean level flight, uh, 130 knots, which for this aircraft is VA and ice penetration both. It's a very worthy uh, pitch power configuration to know. A little bit of cumulus fructus on this one, or as they say in uh, in Rome, uh, pulled cotton or fractured clouds. So what we have here is uh, maybe some light turbulence. I would call it continuous light so far. Uh, not too brisant. Light meaning that nothing flies around in the cockpit or falls on the floor. But if headsets are coming off and uh, things are jumping around, then we've got moderate. And if we can't control the airplane, we have severe turbulence. Big difference. Obviously, if you're given a report, you have to give your aircraft type uh, a 737 reporting moderate turbulence. Uh, uh, PA-46 should avoid that area. This is, in general, a very good day. <laughs> Passengers have a different take on turbulence. So be aware of that. But it's a beautiful day here on our way to Mammoth. Airport. Number this is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Three zero zero five. Train off.